What's up everybody, how's it going? I'm coming to you from beautiful Hawaii, and in this video, I wanna answer the question that is on everybody's mind right now, which is, is it still worth it to learn to code in 2025, 2026, and the next few years? Now, obviously, I'm asking this in the context of AI and, you know, the advent of AI, how AI is getting better and better every day and is really threatening to completely eliminate the need for software engineers. Now, as many of you know, I learned to code back in late 2016, which I think was basically like right before the peak of the golden era of software engineering, before, you know, the, the bubble of software engineering kind of burst. And as many of you know who've been following me on YouTube, I was one of the biggest proponents of, you know, learning to code, one of the most vocal proponents of learning to code. I made so many videos recommending that people go to coding boot camps to learn to code, uh, take computer science classes or computer science major in college because coding changed my life. I was able to land jobs at Google and Facebook. I was able to uh, found my company, Algo Expert, which basically allowed me to retire in about seven years all thanks to coding. By the way, if you're a software engineer preparing for technical interviews, do check out my company, AlgoExpert, go to algoexpert.io and use the promo code CLEM for a discount on the platform. But so in the recent couple of years and especially the last six months or so, I have really been kind of like torn apart because I've asked myself or I have been asked by other people, if you had, let's say a high school student or a college student who was coming to you and asked you, Clement, I'm genuinely concerned about whether or not I should learn software engineering, whether or not I should learn coding because of AI. Like, what if AI truly does replace software engineers in a few months or in a few years? You know, you've got like the anthropic CEO saying, uh, anthropic CEO saying that all software engineers are going to be replaced by AI within a few years or at least 70% of them and all that. Would it be better to learn a hard skill, something like, you know, plumbing or carpenting, those are the canonical examples that are going to be harder to replace uh, by AI. And there have been times when I have started to lean towards like, yes, it might actually be over for coders and software engineers. However, after having thought about it a lot, I actually still think that it's worth, worth it to learn coding in 2025. And here's why. I think it really comes down to one reason. Maybe, you know, there's a second reason that I'll share at the end of the video. But the main reason for which I think that it is still worth it to learn coding in 2025 is that right now, AI is, is incredible, right? It allows virtually like everybody in the world to become more productive at so many different things. However, I think that software engineers are the by far the largest beneficiaries of AI. That is for multiple reasons, right? One of them is that like there, there's just so much uh, like money and effort that's being spent on AI for software engineers, right? For software engineering tooling, but also just like the, 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 the way that AI works lends itself so well to, you know, increasing the productivity of software engineers. And what that means is that Software engineers benefit the most from AI right now. They benefit the most and are becoming the most productive in an economically useful way, thanks to AI. And that's really important, right? The economically useful way. For example, like let's take teachers, right? Teachers also benefit from AI. They can use AI to grade homework much faster, or they can use AI to uh, much more easily catch or know whether a student cheated on their homework or on their tests with AI. But that's gonna improve their quality of life. That's gonna make them you know, do their jobs faster, but will it help them make more money? Will it help them get promoted faster? That's you know, very debatable, at least when I think about it you know, for five minutes. Perhaps I don't know the nuances of education and you know, the job of a teacher, but overall I would say that like the use case for AI in teaching for a teacher to benefit the teacher is relatively limited when compared to software engineers. Software engineers can use AI to output so much more code, to iterate so much faster on features and products, to build companies or to build projects so much faster and so much more easily without needing nearly as many resources as they used to. And so software engineers are benefiting from AI way more. 
And so what that means is that like right now, in 2025, 2026, and over the next, let's say five or so years, there is this short window of time during which software engineers are not only still clearly employable, like clearly companies are still hiring software engineers, even though it might be less than in the past because of you know, interest rates are much higher and soft and uh, companies have kind of realized that they overhired in the past and they don't need as many software engineers, but they're still employable. And right now as software engineers, we can benefit from AI the most. This is when you can really shine at your company and get promoted super fast. This is when you can vibe code your own you know, startup or business that is going to retire you, you know, like Algo Expert did me in you know, five or seven years. And so because of that, because of that, I actually would still recommend that someone who is thinking about learning to code do so right now in 2025. I genuinely think that it is still worth it. It is still worth it to know this skill, and it is the skill that it will allow you to leverage AI and take advantage of it the most out of any other skill right now. That's my opinion, and the bonus sort of second reason for which I think it's still super worth it to learn to code is that at the end of the day, nobody can predict the future. Like, if you had told the collective you know, software engineering sphere back in 2021 that software engineers would be like terrified of being replaced by AI just a few years later, I think everybody would have been like super confused and wouldn't have believed you. So just as you know, it was hard to predict what's happening right now back in 2021, I think it's very hard to predict what's going to happen in 2030. Like, who knows, you know, the, the nuances and intricacies of how AI will actually replace software engineers in 2030 and beyond. Who knows whether or not, you know, hard skills like plumbing and carpenting will actually also be replaced by AI by then. And so because of that, you know, don't don't upend a potentially very lucrative career right now just because, you know, in five years or in three years or in 10 years, AI may, you know, threaten your job, may threaten the career. So, you know, that's my take on it. Um, I've thought about it a lot, you know, like I've thought about it a lot. It, you know, would I recommend that a young person or someone think of a career change just abandon coding? And the answer for me is no. I think it is still worth it in 2025. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on all other social media if you want to see me there, and I will see you in the next video.